Got a Hogue stock here for the Mossberg 590, part number 05010. Uh, it will also fit the 500 and I believe the 835s. Uh, this is the factory stock right here, and I'm going to do a little comparison between the two. Uh, because this is the not this is not the 12 inch length of pull one. This is the factory length of pull. Um, I'm gonna compare from here to here. So I'm gonna measure, I'm gonna put them up against each other, and then that's where I want you to look. Uh, discard the re pull pads. If you can see there, there's there's quite a bit of difference. Um, I'd say at least a half an inch. At least a half an inch there see that trying not to get in the light uh, so a little bit of difference there this one's a little bit shorter and it feels better and I'm a big guy I, uh, I I didn't care for this one since I've had it I've had it about oh, probably seven years or so and, and I'm just now getting around to changing this out I've been wanting one for a while and I just did it so on with the stock. I have not shot it. I just put it on there. There's a caveat to installation that I'm going to get to here in a second. But as you can see, it's got a recoil pad, two screws. Take those two screws out, which is the same thing on this one. Um, take the two screws out, and you're going to have a bolt running through there that you take out of your factory one, obviously. Pretend this is the factory one. Take the bolt out. When you put the new one in and you get it tightened down, um, I had an issue with it. The gun wouldn't fire. I, I just function tested it, and it wouldn't fire. I was like, well, what's going on here? I was like, it's, it's got to be something with this, this stock. You know, maybe something got out of alignment, um, you know, whatever. And so I took, I, un, I undid the stock, and just as I undid the stock a little bit and pulled the trigger, uh, the gun went off. You know, I meant you know, like that, and it didn't go off because I'm smart enough not to load it while I'm working on it. But it, it wouldn't it wouldn't go off. So what I end up doing is I end up having to put a couple more washers on the uh, on the on the bolt. Um, you may or may not have to do that. I don't know. But uh, try it before you put your recoil pad back on. Once you install the new stock, uh, try it. Function test it. Make sure it's unloaded. Function test it. Um, you know then then once uh, once you verify that it does work. Uh, go ahead and put your recoil pad back on, and you're 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 good. Make sure the main bolt's tight too. Uh, tighten it all the way down when you function test it. Don't just tighten it down halfway. If you have an issue with it where the trigger just sounds like this, it just it'll be like that. You'll have a dead trigger basically. Uh, if that's the problem, back off your bolt, uh, you know, a turn or two, and then try it again. If it, if it works, then that's your issue. Take the bolt all the way out. You know, put your washer or two in there. Redo it. Um, so I, I haven't heard anybody say that before. This one had that problem. I don't know. That's kind of weird that that bolt would, would have any function on the gun whatsoever, uh, being in too far. So take that for what it's worth. Uh, the recoil pad on here is much better, much softer than, than the factory one. Much softer. This one right here is basically useless. Uh, they might as well just made the whole thing polymer because it's, it's very hard. The stock is polymer, uh, similar to this. Um, maybe just a little bit smoother on the polymer. This is the only part that's rubber, is the grip. And it's it's got that rubberized texture to it. It feels very nice. Um, if you ever had any hold grips, it's, it's, it's the same thing. It feels very good. Uh, the length of pull feels really good on it. Um, I would say the grip area is just a little bit, little bit more hand filling than, than the, the factory stock, which I, I've never been a fan of. Um, it comes with the sling swivel, or the sling uh, stud, not the swivel. Not the swivel. It also came with the pump for an. I don't think I'm gonna put that on here because I like this one actually. I may save it for another gun. You know, if I get another 500 or something like that, that's got maybe a hunting barrel on it. You know, and it's got the hunting style fore end, and I want to convert it or something. I may uh, buy a different barrel for it. You know, if I get one for like a hundred bucks or something, maybe buy a different barrel for it later on and then put put the Hogue four end on it. Um, like I said, this one, you know, I I kind of like this this four end is is what I'm trying to say. I I definitely like this four end. The stock really looks nice. You can see this doesn't come with it. I I always put those on. 
It's just a nice looking stock altogether. I do like it. Get a little better look at it. It just it looks really nice. I've always been a fan of this stock. Uh, whether it be on an 870 or or on these. Um, I think this is this is one of the best looking polymer stocks. Um, this this grip really feels nice. If you don't like rubberized the uh, feeling style of grips and stuff, then I would say stay away from this one. It probably uh, isn't your your thing. So yeah, anyways, I just thought I would share a little bit of that knowledge with you on on the issue that I had with the installation. I'm not going to show it to you because. Um, you know, it's it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, I I don't have anything really to hold this this phone. <laughs> that's why that's why my reviews are, are like this. Um, sorry, <laughs> but yeah, I just thought I'd share this with you and let you know that that this stock is a little bit shorter than the factory one. And and like I said, this is a nine twelve inch length of pull one. They they have one that's even shorter than this. Um, I would say this one probably will fit most taller people pretty good if, if maybe you're under five nine or something maybe you want to go with the uh with the the 12 inch length of pull uh there's not a whole lot of details on on you know which one uh works better for people and and that's just a rule of thumb that i would say uh, don't don't quote me on it uh you may like shorter or longer uh it's personal preference really like I said, I'm 6'2". This this fits me a lot better than the other one. The other one was just, just a tad bit long. Even for me. This one feels perfect. So, uh, If you're 6'2", six, six, uh, six 5'10", six 5'11", I think that you'll I think that you'll like this a whole lot. I don't think that uh, I don't think you'll be disappointed in the in the length of pull on it. Um, if, if you wear a body armor, if you're a police officer uh, maybe maybe the uh, shorter length of pull would be better. And this this probably echoes, except for the issue with the trigger part, uh, uh, you know, on the 870s too. Uh, you know, the stock is basically the same. It's just the, um, you know, the cut in it and stuff that's different. So, yeah, thanks for watching. I've got a safe review coming up right here. I just just got a new safe. Uh, it's nothing, nothing too fancy, but, uh, yeah, well, I'm going to get ready to do a review on it right now. Uh, if you want to check that out, chime on in and let me know what you think of it. Thanks.